We're now going to take a look at the client server environment. And since we're operating in the client server environment when we're dealing on the web, I think it's important for you to have an understanding of what specifically that means. So this will just be a brief overview of that environment. What you're looking at are three different browsers. And these three different browsers are displaying the educator.com website. And as you can see, these look very much the same at this point. So if I move this over and set this one aside so we can take a look at them a little bit better side by side, you'll see that they look identical. This one doesn't quite have focus, so this is a little grayed out now, but they're virtually identical in these three browsers. What browsers are we talking about? Well, we're looking at Firefox, we're looking at Google Chrome, and this is Internet Explorer. And this is specifically Internet Explorer 8, believe it or not. And look at how nice the website looks in IE8, which is a very old browser. Now, we do have to be concerned about other types of devices besides a desktop monitor viewing our web pages nowadays. So the client environment has kind of spread quite a bit in terms of what we're covering. But basically, we're covering a browser that's reading the HTML on a web page. How can we view the HTML? Well, every browser allows you to do that simply by right-clicking. And when you right-click, you get a view page source in a couple of the browsers, or you can use an example of this one is Internet Explorer with the old menu system. And in the view listing in most browsers, we can view the source. And what's actually happened is it just went behind, but here is the actual coding that's creating this web page. And you can see there's quite a bit there. So we're not going to worry about that coding, but our client is reading this specific code when it's displaying a web page. And mobile browsers read and interpret that code a little bit different than even a tablet browser or a desktop browser. And the version of browser has an impact as well as the specific browser. Now, more modern browsers kind of push you to update the browser itself. But you also have to keep in mind your visitors may not have updated their browsers. So the client environment is an important one. We want to make sure we're testing our web pages in the same environment as a user. Now, the other environment you have in the client server environment is the web server itself. Now, there are different types of web servers. And what you're looking at here is actually three different web servers on my system. The first one is INET Pub. And this is the folder that gets created when the software is installed on my system. So basically, a web server is simply another program you add to your computer, just like Dreamweaver is a program you add to your computer. So it's really no different. A web server is simply software. So this INET Pub is actually a Windows web server. And you can see each one of these has a www root. That's where I store my website. So if I click on this one, I don't have any specific websites within my Windows server at this point. But web servers come with specific built-in files to show as well. So that's what you're looking at. When I installed this Windows server, these files were installed. This example is a ColdFusion 9 server, which is actually a Java JRun type server. ColdFusion 9 and 10 have different web servers that were installed with the program. So this www root has a few different options inside of here. So you can see there's a Scuba Vacations website, an OWS website, an ACFD9, an app framework. There's a few different websites stored right within my web server. This one down here is a ColdFusion 10 server. The folder setup is a little bit different, 
but you can see ultimately it comes down to that www root folder. And inside my ColdFusion 10 web server, which is actually an Apache Tomcat server, so this is a Unix Apache type server, you can see I have some other websites listed in this web server. So a client is simply software that reads the coding on your page and displays it to the user. And a web server is simply software that stores your website and sits and waits for people to make requests of your website so those pages can be served up. So that's just a brief overview of the client server environment that we are working with on the web. As you can see, these can all be installed on a single machine. What you're looking at is what's installed on my machine, or the client can reside on one machine and the web server on another somewhere out on the internet. But it all comes down to the same thing. Both client and server are simply programs waiting to serve up your web pages that you create and will be creating throughout this course.